Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. I am going to do weeklies for December, but this is going to be for the month whenever it resonates with you, okay? It could happen at any time in December. We are going to start right here. What do we have for Libra for December? What do we have for Libra? One card, please. Awareness. Now, this is the magician. This is a divine connection. So, you have a divine connection this month. High awareness. You are very skilled, uh, very knowledgeable. You know exactly what's going on. Uh, I feel as though you're going to get some sort of information. And, I, and it's interesting because I, with the light, something, I was going to say, something's going to be shown to you this month. I feel like you are going to get some sort of information that you have been seeking. You've been seeking an answer to something. You are going to get the answer that you were seeking. Um, you're also going to be getting a golden opportunity of some sort, um, something that you asked for. This is as above, so below. You've asked for something. You're going to get, like I said, it may, be, it may be an answer, but it may be something else. You're going to get something that you asked for this month. You also are going to be put in charge I feel as though um, you're going to have a lot of power this month. You're going to feel very powerful. You're going to be using your skills. Um, yeah, so interesting. Something new is coming as well with that one. You're creating something that is going to be successful. One card for Libra, please. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Now, Queen of Cups is a lover. Um, somebody that is a caregiver, very, it could be a uh, healer, empath, uh, somebody that is psychic. Queen of Cups is a lover. Um, all about love. Something to do with the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be any other sign that is very loving, very kind, very gentle. This is a healing energy, could be your energy. This is expressing feelings, falling in love, maybe. Um, giving, because it feels like there's some sort of giving here. It feels like we have somebody here that is a very big giver. And this is a giver as well. So giving, giving something. You may be receiving something from somebody. Um, or that you may be giving something to somebody. It could go either way. Whatever this is, this is about love. It is about kindness and caring and compassion but you're going to have some sort of power this month. It's like you're in control. I think that you are dealing with somebody that is very kind, very, very gentle. Um, if that's not your energy, which it absolutely could be. Um, hmm. It could also be an emotional time, okay? Um... There's somebody that really cares here. There is. There's a lot of loving care by the looks of things. Somebody that is very compassionate. That is around you. Because I feel like you're taking on a magician energy. So you have a caring, compassionate individual around you. And I feel like you have the power to create something uh, with this person. Whoever this person is. I know that it's dark, but... It'll be clear soon enough. Older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. So I don't know if you're dealing with an older man. You're about to become aware of something. Somebody you're dealing with could be dealing with an older man. Could have something to do with a father. Um, hmm. Forces working against you. Oh my God. Not a, maybe it's this Queen of Cups. I don't know. 
There is, there obviously this card is here for a reason. Maybe it's this older man. There is somebody that is working against you. Now, the Queen of Cups can be somebody that is jealous. So just, just be aware of that. Anyhow, that magician is, is willing to do whatever it takes. Somebody is willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. And I feel like that's you. I think that you're going to be in control. But I feel like you do have somebody, obviously, that is working against you. I don't know if it's this older man if, or if it's somebody else. But there is somebody that is working against you. I'm not. You know who it is. I'm sure that you do. Because of that awareness. You are highly aware this month. There's nothing that you are not aware of. Put it that way. You're, you're very intuitive. Very knowledgeable. So listen. Listen to the signs. Listen to your senses. Listen to your intuition. The messages that you are receiving are correct. Do not doubt yourself. You are very in tune. You do have a divine connection. Um, mm. Ace of Wands reverse, something going south. King of Cups. You, I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign now. It could be you could be dealing with another person that is dealing with a water sign. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, so that could be the person that you're thinking about is dealing with a water sign. Whoever this person, this water sign is, this water sign is is uh, doesn't have good intentions. Does not have good intentions. Uh, is closed off, is secretive, is weighing somebody down. So we definitely have a water sign that, or water energy. So this could be somebody that has a lot of water in their chart that is weighing another person down, or they're being weighed down by another person. However, somebody's being weighed down, held back by another, by another, by an individual. And this person may use emotional blackmail. Very, very. Uh, cold, withdrawn, secretive. So somebody is, is being very, very secretive. And I think that you know it. You know it. You do. I think that you're taking on the magician energy. I think you know something and whoever you're dealing with is hard to, they're so good at uh, pretending to be compassionate or pretending to be love, you know? Interesting. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Oh my God. Uh, now you're definitely dealing with another person because we have the Queen of Wands on the, in the, on the bottom. It is in the upright though. So that's another person. Somebody that is very controlling, very, very forceful. Sneaky. Sneaky. We definitely have a sneaky individual here. But anyway, um... Jeez, I'm crow. This is this is uh, heavy. It is. I feel like there's somebody that may be uh, very, very greedy. You have a very greedy, selfish individual around you. Uh, they are very insecure. They're unstable. They. Uh, it's like a fortune hunter of some sort. You may be dealing with a fortune hunter. I don't know. Maybe it's a fire sign. Because of this card and this card could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could be very, very upset. You know, they were looking for some sort of money. Um, because of that Nine of Pentacles reverse, that that's somebody who can't take care of themselves, and they're very and very greedy. We have definitely greedy, very, very selfish, looking for looking for somebody to take care of them financially. So I do feel like there is, it's either a water sign or a fire sign that is looking for somebody to take care of them or they're using their money. They're use, or it could go vice versa. They're using the money, their money to hold somebody down, you know? So I think it's all about the money. I feel like, um, oh, we definitely have, I think it's a greedy, greedy, greedy individual here who, it's not love. It's interesting because this one's upright, but this isn't, this is very dissatisfying. Somebody, um, something is not going in the right direction. It's going south. It's, it's going in the wrong direction. Somebody may be planning to move south and it may be, you know, under the radar or something like that. Nine of Cups reversed, dissatisfied, not happy, not happy with the circumstances. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's not happy at all. It's almost like we have an individual here that is very, very immature. They are miserable. 
they're miserable um right here you know they have low self-esteem they have low self-confidence and they're holding somebody down they're holding somebody down and i think it's just for the financial stability or because of their own insecurities or whatever it's very very interesting um There's a need for discipline. There's a need for discipline. And there's a need for... Confidence of some sort. Because of that Ace of Wands reversed. There's no there's no desire here. Somebody is in a... It feels like passion and passionless situation. I feel like it's with a water sign or a fire sign. Where, you know, that person doesn't complete them, but it's some sort of financial stability. Forces working against you. There is another person working against you that is holding you back from happiness. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Very conceited, very conceited individual you have here. Five of Cups. Now the Five of Cups is sadness, grieving, crying, not realizing that there's another opportunity. Somebody is in a, in a place of regret. They are regretting something. They're very, very unhappy. They're unhappy with a loss. They can't see, because an Ace of Wands is a vision, so in this reverse, somebody can't see that there's an opportunity for happiness because they're so focused on something that they lost. You need to, you need to turn yourself around. You need to, maybe you need to look in another direction. Or they need to look in another direction. Somebody needs to look in a direction. Somebody has a lot of regrets here as well. They have a lot of regrets for not putting in effort. They have a lot of regrets for uh, letting their ego get in the way. They do. Now, I'm not sure if this is somebody you that you're dealing with. It's their person, you know, another person. I feel like something isn't coming to fruition as you had hoped, okay? Something hasn't isn't coming to fruition as you had hoped, as you had wished. And I think it's not coming to fruition because there's somebody that is scheming. There's a schemer here that is working against you. Mm hmm. Swords reversed. Judgment reversed. Now, I don't know if there's a ruling that is not going in your favor. You know, there's somebody that isn't telling the truth. Um, you're dealing with an individual that has no moral conscience. This person does not care who they hurt. Uh, they don't care who they hurt at all. As long as they win. As long as they win. Somebody that has a very, very, very big ego. Um, it could be somebody from somebody's past. It could be an ex. Now, I don't know if it's an ex from somebody that you're dealing with or if it's your ex or whatever. Somebody's uh, unable to forgive. They're unable to release. They're unable to accept. They're hoping for another chance. They're coming back to fight. Something like that. Or they're trying to fight. They're not ready to let go. Um, they're fighting for something that they need to let go of by the looks of things. I know that it's very confusing, but I think that you're highly aware. I think you know exactly what this is. I feel like you have the power in your hands to create whatever you want, to get what you want. But I feel like you really need to be willing because the magician is about willingness. It's willingness to shed the old to bring in the new. And I feel like you are willing to do that, but whoever you're dealing with is not. Okay, this is lack of forgiveness. This is uh, 
not accepting, lack of awareness, poor judgment call, moving on from that bad choice. Somebody has made a really bad choice that they need to move on from. Um, it feels like there's some sort of battle here. There's definitely a power struggle. Somebody is really, really struggling. They're struggling with their security. They may be struggling financially as well. And so that could be causing them to um, pursue or to stay where they're at, you know, because of financial struggle. I definitely see financial struggle here. Um, five of Swords reversed. I just want to be happy now. I ain't got nothing left to prove. We give me another chance. So I'm not sure who is saying that, but somebody is hearing that. Could be the person that you're inquiring about. Could be you saying it. You know, somebody may be looking for another chance um, or hoping for another chance. They're very, very dissatisfied. They have a lot of regrets. Um, but something isn't coming to fruition with that Ace of Wands reverse. It's not. There's some sort of dissatisfaction here over, you know, some sort of dishonest situation. If there is some sort of legal issues here, something may not go in your favor because of the judgment card reversed. That's that's bad karma or or not turning out the way that, that you had hoped. Um yeah so somebody may be questioned you know asking a lot of questions um, but they may not be telling the truth because I feel like there's some sort of deception here um, you have to remember that or somebody needs to remember with that nine of Pentacles that, that there's discipline that is needed you know, somebody needs to have discipline. They need to know their value. They need to know their worth. And we may have an individual here that doesn't know their worth, okay? Because this is in reverse. Somebody may not know their worth and they need to, okay? I need to stop moving it. They do. They need to know their worth. And I feel like, you know, with it being in reverse, this is somebody who is self-sufficient, very, very confident, very, very valuable, very, very worthy, that has come a really long way. In reverse, it's an individual that doesn't know their value. Not quite yet. Not quite yet, you know. So we may, and so we may have an individual that um, doesn't want to be alone, okay. There could be some upcoming court proceedings or some information or some truth that comes out that you know really really hurts and there's or it has come out you know and you know there's a there's there's uh, no desire to be alone you know somebody doesn't want to be alone there could be rejection here fear of rejection fear of living alone fear of a life alone you know so um Somebody may have stayed in a situation because of, you know, I don't want to be alone, codependency. Anyhow, I feel like in December, you are going to be in a position to create whatever you want, but you're going to have to be honest with yourself. You may have to walk away. You may have to, or somebody that you're dealing with. I don't know who this is. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody may, is, is, it's almost like they're staying put in a situation where, I don't see a lot of love, okay? There's no, I don't, I don't see it, okay? I feel like it's, it's, uh, it's very, uh, shallow. It's like a shallow situation where there's a lot of things, okay? There's a lot of materialistic, there's, there's a lot of materialism wherever they're at, but there's no happiness, there's no real happiness there. So I do feel like, uh, it's time, it's time to move on from a poor choice. It's time to accept, it's time to accept reality. It's time to walk away. I feel like there's some belittling here too. There's somebody that has been belittled. They've been uh, not treated very well, especially when there's drinking involved. If there's drinking involved, there's abuse. I feel like there's there's some sort of abuse when there's, when there's too much alcohol, you know? some some mean bullying words or something like that that gets said when there's alcohol involved. But anyhow, I do feel like uh, 
there's going to be a need to release and and I feel like that's going to be very 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 hard uh, for either you or whoever you're dealing with um, somebody needs to move on from a bad choice but I feel and they may want to they may want to come back they may want to come back to you or the person that you're dealing with okay take it however it resonates and uh, you know it may not make you happy it may not make you happy or something like that um, because that nine of cups reversed is, is not happy not happy with the circumstances dissatisfied um, but I do feel like there is somebody working against you that is trying to stop some sort of transition. They're trying to stop somebody from seeing, you know, maybe they're trying to stop somebody from seeing your value. It feels like we have a very tricky, sneaky, conceited, egotistical individual here who is insecure and only out for what they can get, you know, for how things look. Um, not wanting to release, not wanting to release something with that judgment card. Um, Queen of Cups, you're dealing with a water sign, uh, or somebody has a lot of water in their site in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. Somebody is really, really trying to. keep somebody you know whoever this queen of cups is this queen of cups is very very um good very very good at expressing their feelings very very emotional very very alluring very very uh kind and caring or they pretend to be because of that five of swords is right next to it. We do have a we had, do have a very loving, kind, compassionate individual here who I do feel has been hurt very, very badly. Now that could be your energy or somebody that you're dealing with. But there is somebody that has taken advantage of this person. They have. They have belittled this person. They have abused this person. And so, so I feel like this individual is going their own way, not willing to open up, however that resonates with you. I feel like this month you're going to be working on self-love or the person that you're dealing with is working on self-love. Um, We have some sort of abuse here. I feel like it's mental abuse, verbal abuse, uh, emotional blackmail. There's healing going on. There is. There's a need for, to heal. It may be a very emotional month for you. Somebody could end up walking away, you know, going towards somebody else. The moon. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I really feel like you might be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Or the fire sign that we saw. But either way, either way, I feel like all is not as it seems. There is something below the surface that is going to come out this month. Okay, it is going to show its face. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna pop up, and it's going to cause you some sort of insecurities. Okay, it's gonna cause you some sort of uh, sadness by the looks of things. Something is about to come to show up or or pop up that is uh, probably going to not make you very happy, and that's the way it goes. Could be somebody from the past because of that judgment card, which does represent the past. Um, either way, on the bottom we have the Empress, which is the goddess of love. So whether that is you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is love. This is abundance. This is a caregiver. This is unconditional love. This is somebody that does everything with love. This is the pick. Okay, this is somebody that is beautiful. This is somebody that is very earthy, that has plenty, that is heartfelt and caring and domestic and 
sensual and sexual and beautiful and glowing. So if that is, if this is you, this is the energy you're taking on. Now the Empress has multiple options, multiple options at all times. Everybody wants her because she does it all. She's the pick of the litter. So if this is you, Libra, you don't have anything to worry about because you have multiple options. If this is somebody that you're dealing with, say if you are the masculine watching this, that if you are dealing with a feminine, this feminine is beautiful. She is, uh, you know, she's everything that everybody wants. She's loyal. She doesn't play games. She knows her value. So if you are the feminine watching this, you may be getting uh, a surprise this month because the Empress gives birth to a new life, usually by surprise. So creating a new life. You are in the process of creating a new life. But it's going to be, I feel like it's not going to be easy. I feel like this month there is... Oh, there is somebody around you that it is probably a very, very good fit, but there is a force working against you, which is another person. I do feel like uh, this other person may be trying to stop somebody. It feels like they're trying to stop somebody. They're getting in the way. But I do feel like uh, you have the power to get what you want, to manifest what you want. But you're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to be truthful. You're going to have to express your feelings. And I think you're going to have to be patient. I think you're going to have to be patient because whoever you're dealing with is going, they may not see. They may not see this person's true colors right now, but they're going to. If you are single and you are watching this, you may be uh, getting engaged with somebody that is very loving, very tender, very kind, very gentle, okay? Um, somebody that is a goddess. I mean, that definitely, definitely with these two cards. Somebody that is very intuitive, very uh, empathic, compassionate, does everything with love and does it all. Cooks, cleans, uh, very, very sensual, very, very vocal, very, very uh, beautiful. But keep in mind that this person has a lot of options. If you are the feminine and you are single and you are watching this, you have multiple options. Okay. Um, for some of you, you could be getting pregnant if that's what you're looking for. Um, Something is about to be seen. All is not as it seems. Somebody is hiding something and it's going to be revealed this month and it may cause you to feel insecure. It may cause you to feel uh, defeated. But my advice is to not give up. Good luck. <laughs> 